Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more PJ Draw. This is part six. Um, Martin Keimer on TPC Scottsdale is what we're going to be doing today. TPC Scottsdale just dropped today, I think, as DLC, or else it was yesterday, late last night, I think. TPC Scottsdale is a, a free course uh, they brought out as DLC, or else I think you got it from pre-ordering the game, and I did pre-order it. So I think TPC Scottsdale is just an extra course you get from pre-ordering. So we're going to try it out, see what it's like. Um, uh, it looks... Very pretty. TPC Scottsdale is a cool course. Um, I'm absolutely overwhelmed, guys, with the support you've shown on these PGA Tour series. Uh, it's been amazing. The career mode's going super well, and even these normal videos as well are going crazy well. I just put up um, my open predictions with a round in part five. So this is part six right now. I put it up with a round and between Rory and Jordan at St. Andrews this to give my EA predictions Sports, on the EA Open Championship. So check that out for sure if next. you missed it. And hit this with a like if you want this series to continue. And I will keep bringing it to you as much as possible. I know I'm putting up a lot of videos, but you guys seem to be loving them, and so am I. A lot of dislikes, but whatever. I'm getting like three or four dislikes on some of the videos, but I don't care. I'm getting a lot of likes too, so thank you to you guys that are liking the videos. I super appreciate it. And we're about to be Martin Keimer here at TPC Scottsdale. The golf course has been radically changed in 2014, but it still hasn't lost its luster. Really, it's just been updated like the game itself for these young, strong players of the modern era. All right, Martin, let's do this. Wind is with us here. We're going to try and go super low. I'm feeling a low round, baby. Uh, nice. Nine under is our best with McElroy. I think that's my best round, right yeah. There. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. Alright, let's do this. Let's have a let's go lower than nine under. I wanna hit my first ever double digits. St Andrews was pretty difficult in the end, uh, because of how much it ran on. We'll see TPC Scottsdale. I, oh, it is. So TPC Scottsdale doesn't really hold either. Like, certain courses in this game, that's what I love about it. Certain courses hold and certain courses like that are uh, faster and harder, they jump on um, from the chip shots. Which is really realistic and awesome. And I haven't really seen that in a, in a game before. All the courses usually are just the same. But that's awesome. And a birdie to start for Martin. That's a, off to a good start. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, on to the second hole. Four thirty-five. The Open Championship at the moment. DJ leads. Uh, I'm absolutely delighted about that because I have some money on DJ, and he's—I think he's going to run away with it. Honestly, the way he's playing that course, he's absolutely—if he keeps playing the way he is, he's tearing it apart. It's crazy. Okay. Um, let's do this. All right, Martin. This shot Here's is that, brother. Fairway, over 300 yards. 133 yards to the pin. One of the game's great players, a major champion, a player's um, champ. Martin Keimer hmm. ready with seven foot approach. down. But seven mile an hour wins is the only thing. So I think around here should be good. Oh, wow! Sliced that a little bit, but it's coming back. It's coming back around. The wind brought it back around too. Okay, that's okay. That's another birdie chance. Get the two under. Let's get the two under. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. His momentum uh, can quickly... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Martin gets the two under with a par five on the third here. Let's see if we can keep this up. Now on to the third. First par five on the course here at TPC Scottsdale. Yeah, the length of the hole hasn't really changed. Uh, it used to be two fairway... I love the look of this course, though. The fairways and everything look awesome. Runs down the right side. A strategic hole it's very pretty. Par five and two in a brand new green this Man, this is going to be easy to get into. Especially with a drive like that. A 318 yard drive. We should be able to get there relatively easy with our second shot. Second shot. Yeah, three iron. Oh, I thought we'd be coming in with less than that, but what are you going to do? I think this should work, four iron. Wind should bring it in, and that should be good. Go on, hop up. Hop up. Yeah, buddy. That's going to be perfect. Oh, it nearly went in. And that's a short eagle putt. What a great shot. God damn, Martin. We're on fire here. We have this eagle putt to get to four under after three. Oh, what? I thought that was just an easy straight putt. Oh, it's still a birdie, whatever. 
Frank, this would jumpstart the round. All right, birdie. Straight birdie. Martin Keimer, three under after three. I'll still take that. I'll stake that any day of the week. I'll stake that, is what I said. I'll stake it. I'll always go for stake. Oh, here we go with this stupid thing now. My controller turning off randomly for a second. Nine iron should be good. Um, with that win, maybe just there. Slightly sliced. Slightly sliced, ladies and gentlemen. It would have been perfect, but that's not perfect now. That's for sure. That's in the bunker. Frank, there's nothing like catching a bunker shot um, just perfectly. Blop. Splashes out, lands softly, and just runs up to that hole. Yeah, yeah. it's like 3D. There's the component in the strike where it's going to land, and then the third hmm. part of it is how much will it roll. How much will it roll is the question. It's downhill, so I'm thinking it's going to roll quite a lot. And the way it's rolling in there as well. What? This hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? Are you Holy kidding me? Maybe. It's a little bit of a head scratcher. Well, that is a head scratcher. Well, and not, why are you standing like this, Martin? Please stop standing. The first cut, not too bad. No. Mm, I'm gonna have to chip this. That's annoying. Don't you just hate this shit? Okay, let's just play it out there a little bit. And chip it down towards this hole and see if it doesn't completely have up. Oh, that's alright. That's alright. It's gonna be a bogey, but. Whatever, we started with three straight birdies anyway. And getting ready for the putt. Okay. A leaked tee shot to the right there, slightly sliced, and um, cost us a bogey. But it's fine. Another hole that bends gently to the left. There used to be two bunkers down the right side. It's now one, and it's in the perfect position to make you think about your tee shot. Really, you have to be left of that. The new I want to try a cut shot here because I haven't been able to do them so far. Tilt slightly from and I want to get right. I want to get but used to doing see why a draw, a draw is the preferred shot see now that should be good right no nope. see how is that not good though it's it's relatively perfect it's just impossible to hit these shaped shots I tell you it's really really hard to hit these shaped shots I'm just never gonna do it okay, that should be good 91 percent anyway so that should be all right if it hops, if it hops, if it hops, hop good, hop good, hop on. Okay, that's a chance. It's a pretty chance. So he's hit it inside 30 feet, not his best, but inside 30? You have 28 foot up. It's a 30 exactly footer, okay. I've seen a few of those go down. It's a 28 footer, 31 foot. That's where we should play it because of the uphill niche. We got break two. Oh, I hooked that putt. That's still gonna go right. Okay, that's a lagger. We needed it to put it up to about 33, I'd say. It's a par. A solid start. Two under after five. We could, we got off. We we're three under after three. We could have got off to a better start, but whatever. That's fine. Now to the par four six. Decision time, Frank. Driver. Decision time. A lot of that's going to depend on if there's any breeze. If the breeze is at your back, you can drive it all the way down the right side and take those two bunkers down the right completely out of play. This hole's been stiffened up, though. The length hasn't increased, but that bunkering and that choke point. So, the strategy. Do you have the length to get past them? Or, if you have to lay up, it's going to leave a much longer second shot. Oh, yeah. What a drive. Martin Keimer. What a savage. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make it. Oh yeah, birdie. this is gonna be perfect. This, is when this game just looks like fun. Oh, I sliced it again. Play. That's another and slice the right there. Right now, it's just the All right, fun. okay, that's fine. It's fine. And it makes the green you got a punch. And it's Martin. a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Thirty-two should get it enough. Should get enough. Should get enough. Should get enough. Yes. And Martin Keimer buries it right in the back of the cup. Only one par for a six here. And we're on to a par three. Two fifteen. God. This hasn't really changed. Still has that V-shaped green where it's very narrow in the front. A high flying shot. Oh God, this is just going to be perfect. find the further and further you go back there, the more receptive and that green starts to. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh, big hop. Too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. That was a big it's hopper. so hot. Ends up in the first cut, and he'll have a pretty good look at the whole location from here. 
Okay, let's hit a 54 and just roll this up there. To the second line, I think. Is that going to be going too fast? I think so. We're just back here. Oh! He's made it onto the green. That was close. Man, that was very close. Alright, Martin. It's a par. It's fine. 3 under through 7. We'll take it. Not too bad at all. We're going to find it hard to beat our... To get to our 10 under like we wanted to, but... Solid round so far. We'll try now and just have a big, big back 9. We'll birdie these two. 5 under front 9. And try have a 5 under back 9 too. And... That would be... All I could ask for, really. Frank getting set for this right. approach shot. 156. Our golfer a player, it's obvious in full flight right now. It is. This is where it doesn't matter what the sport is, and, and golf is a great example for it. Though, where when you play your best, it's almost like you're just playing out of your subconscious. Oh shit! Hook that one. Hook that one at the start. And you don't really think about it. It's gonna be okay though. Stop there. Stop there. Oh, listen, listen, it's on button. the fringe. Lay off the button, okay? Lay off the button. That little green thing down the hole, that's where you're meant to be going, okay? You never pulled the wrong club in your entire career. No, my caddy did. So, Frank, just from the <laughs> no, my fringe, caddy what's the best did. way to hit this shot? The oh, best what a with chip. Mm, this is going to be risky, though. I don't know if he's got the skill. How dare you, sir? Of course I've got the skill. You don't... Ever question my skill? Oh, two in a row that just nearly went in. That one lipped out even. Oh, that should have been a birdie right there. Oh my god. I thought that was too close to miss, but it nearly missed. Alright, three under for eight. It's fine. A birdie the last here. Go out and we'll go out in um, 32. And I'll take that. Looks to be straight away here, Frank. Anything to be cautious about on this tee shot? No. Absolutely nothing. That's a brilliant shot. Three ten. So it still actually suits the draw off the tee. Green is slightly elevated and not very deep too. Okay, so five mile an hour wind here. Getting the right club is essential. Oh, we definitely want this one, but we want to come back with it a little bit. Uh, maybe 140, I think, should be perfect. Because the wind's kind of into us and it's two foot up, so that should be good. Oh, short swing by three percent. I don't know how that happened, but that's going to be okay. That's going to be perfect. In fact, I was well short, but it hopped on. Hopped on and it's and only 14 foot away now. How is this 12 foot? This is a 12 footer. It looks way shorter than that. Oh my God! I pushed that way out there. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. It's not like that though. You weird commentator. Okay, so that's three pars in a row, and the back nine is ours for the taking. We need a seven under back nine. Let's do it. Let's do a crazy, crazy back nine, seven under. I feel it. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Ooh, 22 foot down. I'm going straight over this. I'm going straight, straight over that. That's 22 foot. I should be able to get over it even with the wind. Four miles an hour. I should be able. I should be able. I should be able. I should be able. Yes. Just about 309, 310 now. Just carried the bunker. Literally just about. But it's fine. It's fine now. All right. Uh, Four mile an hour wind. That should be good, I think. It's three foot up. Yeah, let's try that. Short swing by 1%. I slightly sliced it a little bit. I, I seem to be slicing a couple of them. But that's good. That's that's a good chance for a birdie for sure. Got the spin on it. Nice little bit of spin. But yeah, I like this course. TPC Scottsdale. It's a cool course. Worth the pre-order. For an extra course. I always love the extra courses. And they will be set, like they said, adding in free. Yes, just about. I sliced it a tiny bit, but that just went in the side door. We're going to try and have a, an amazing back nine here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Two par fives we got. We could get an eagle or two there. the only one, Rich, because this is an absolute scorecard wrecker. Water all the way down the left side. This is beautiful. Don't worry about that. They're not off the tee. They're around the green. They protect the left front and the back. If you think you can bail out down the right side, then you can find cactus and all sorts of crazy things down the right. Alright, that's a beautiful drive. 322, Martin. Nice.
Interesting with the almost space age advancements in golf equipment, what with new lighter materials, and with the increased focus on fitness and strength, players are hitting the ball longer than ever. That has forced architects to lengthen the golf courses without sacrificing the integrity oh, of the shot value this of the is beautiful. design. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. 2% short swing, damn it. Well, this one should be safely on deck that's going to be fine though, because that's going to be perfect distance actually, because of the jump. Wow, yes, that's going to be back to back. Come on, you got to make that. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Have to make this one. Alright, a small bit of break. Not too much. And that should be in the back of that car. Oh, Jesus, it tried its very best to, to leak away to the left there, but... We just about made it. Alright, if we can make another birdie here, we have a par 5 out of us, and that would be a great chance to get 4 in a row. We see more bogeys and double bogeys here on 12 than 16 will ever see, and courtesy of the water behind and to the right of the screen. If you're going to bail out, find one of those bunkers. A good bunker player obviously can get it up and down, but it's still no snap. Oh, yes. This is beautiful now. We're playing well now. We're on fire. This is just can feel the power of positivity. Spectacular. Oh, yeah. Martin Keimer's on fire now. That's three in a row. Back to back to back, birdies. Get the six under. Six holes to play. All we need is four birdies to get to that, that magical double digits. Oh, definitely an eagle. That's definitively an eagle, ladies and gentlemen. I can feel it. I can feel an eagle here. Get to eight under. Oh yeah. Definitely. Five foot ups. Oh, the wind was seven miles an hour. Jesus, I didn't realize it was that much. I, that was way too much. I didn't realize the wind was seven miles an hour. See, I was looking at the five foot up, so I goes, I'm just a little bit above this light. That would be perfect. Didn't take the wind into account. That was stupid. Good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Eagle, eagle. Oh, wow, that traveled. A tough Johnson birdie putt now, Jesus. Just work right there. The only thing I can say, Rich, is okay. That it's not that bad actually. That should be in. Oh my God, that's the second one that's just barely gone in. Third one even. Seven under, that's four birdies in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Five holes to play, we need three birdies. Ooh, this is a tough par four. I'm gonna try a dr big draw here now. Okay, that's way too much. This, like this. I want to try a draw here. Now that can't be that bad. Oh, it is. Oh, oh it just, just is. It's terrible. Oh, I'm on the, I'm on the path. Brilliant. So do I got to drop or am I playing off the car path? <laughs> this Frank, you don't see this too often. He's going to have to play a punch here, huh? From the cart path. Different sort of drive. Punch. I think this is going to be have to be a punch almost. Cuz Otherwise, it's going to hit the top of this tree, so I'm going to hit a two-iron punch here off the car path. That's going to bounce. Come on, bounce up. Bounce up onto that green. That could be good. That could be good. That could be good if it keeps going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's not bad from where I was on the car path. We have a chance to get a birdie at least. An outside chance, yes. Yeah. 50 foot should be... That would be a good one to make, wouldn't it? Oh, no, he hasn't. No, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, an inch away from going in from a 50-footer there, ladies and gentlemen. That would have been an absolute amazing putt for a freaking fifth birdie in a row. Yeah, the fairway down the left side is anything other than straight. It's more like a shipwreck. This hole's beautiful. Wow. And that water in place, it's gorgeous. Well, if you do find one on the fairway, I love holes with water. The Absolutely love them. Find the fairway, you can reach this par 5 and 2. A little bit of an island looking green there. Bunker on the left and also another bunker just short right. 
but a fairway missed here. You, know, you can rack up five, six, seven. Okay, this should be perfect now. I got it in slice it, that's all I'm gonna say. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Oh yeah, middle of the green. Oh yes, that's to get to nine under, ladies and gentlemen. What a great shot that was. This is an eagle try for Ooh, it's a double Geimer. breaker. I think it breaks more to the left than it does to the right, though, so I'm going to go with that one. Oh, that good it did. Just not falling right now. Well, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Not break more to the left. It's a big putt right here for birdie. Okay, whatever. It's a birdie. Eight under. Three to play. We need a birdie two of these. To get to the magical ten under, which I said. We can do it. Our best is nine under with McElroy. At Wolf Creek. Okay, downhill and Molinari. And the weight's jumping. I think that could work. Oh, yes. It's left, actually. But that's fine. Birdie putt. It's a putt. It's a putt for a birdie. Get the nine. Get the nine. If we don't get this, we have to birdie the last two. Ooh, that's not easy. Yes. Yes. No. Again, I left it an inch short. What fun Napoli, Martin Keimer says. All right. What else? Frank, 16 was fun. 17 is always exciting here at TPC Scottsdale. You've got to be careful because uh, that water that sort of goes. I'm going straight at this green. If that ball's coming in with a little bit of hook, it's just going to keep going left. There's the one bunker you really have to focus on. That's the one in the middle of the fairway. 280 will carry that. How's that? How's that? Oh my God! This could be amazingly good. A driver, and he's put it to about 10, 20 foot maybe. How far away is that? 15 footer, I'd say. For an eagle. 17. Okay, we need to bring it back a little bit and then. Got that much break, I'd say, and that should go into the back of the cup. For an eagle, yes, to get the 10 under. Martin Keimer celebrates in style after that eagle. That was beautiful, man. Look at that back nine. Seven under on the back after eight holes. Obviously for the recreational player to respect. Three bunkers down the right side protected. And that new bunkering um, situation. I'll try a, a baby draw here. Attack of a Bubba Watson or a JB Holmes. Now this tee shot is going to have to be respected. And the green too is anything other than flat. Now this is not Small bit right. Uh, looks like it's going to be in the rough. It's okay. It's okay. Rich, there's rough and rough. That ball is needle nose down can't even see it from here no, second fine. shot from 130 it's fine they're exaggerating see it's totally fine jump up now like you have been doing jump up like you have been doing oh that's 11 under that's 11 under right there ladies and gentlemen oh yes yeah Martin Keimer, 11 under, you absolute savage. TPC Scottsdale has been torn apart by this man. I just shot 28 on the back nine. Wow. 32. And 28. Did I just shoot a 60? Yes, I did. So that's par 71. The condition of the golf course is just You're shot 60, guys. There. That's pretty Playing crazy. I was going for the magic the number 59, but we didn't get there. We didn't get there. Break. Nearly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, well make sure to hit the big like. That I had a lot of fun with that one. Uh, 11 under, absolutely amazing round, and new course, um, TPC Scottsdale. Uh, this game's definitely worth getting, and I'll see you guys for the next video very soon. Mahalo.